two, three. Call me Batman for Halloween. You can be Alfred. Alfred? Yeah. Well, why not Robin? A sidekick. Batman doesn't need a sidekick. He needs somebody to pick up his dry cleaning. Wait. Not That's Rita. So what? So what? This is my chance. Are you kidding me? Those are high school girls, Jake. Listen, walk like ten steps behind me. When I reach her, go hide behind Mrs. Gomez's bush and wait for us to leave. It's Miss Gomez, she got a divorce. Just hide behind the Mexican ladies, Bush, Sam. Why can't I just walk ahead of you and go to school? Because huh? if Rita rides the tarred cart, I don't want to walk the rest of the way to school alone. Someone old enough to take the SATs would have trouble with that. Well, maybe not. But you're 11 for Christ's sakes. It's not a big deal you're not smart enough for this. My mom thinks I'm smart enough for it. You know what? Your mom's delusional. Well, Sam, I don't think you're the right person for this job. Just remember, Linda, I got a perfect score on my SATs, and I never went to college. Great SAT score doesn't mean a great future. You owe me sixty dollars for the hour. My rental just got a flat. No, I've never changed a tire in my life. I'm not gonna start now. Just gonna jog it out. I don't know that I want you to meet my dad just yet. Forever. I'm literally seeing him as I walk down the aisle and meeting his new wife as she takes off her goddamn veil. It's quick in and out. Oh, fuck. No, no, I'm not involving you because I love you. Listen, everything you don't like about me, it's my dad times a million. Look, I really don't want to fight about this. We'll kill you with lower prices. Do you recognize the voice? She does all the voices. I sent you the YouTube, right? There. How do you feel? <laughs> Come again, Jake. <laughs> oh, well, uh, you got into a fight with the car, kiddo. The car won. <laughs> kiddo, I want you to formally meet my beautiful bride, Miss Cassandra. You got married? Yeah, of course. Ah, we got skinny on you, and then, you know, we just went on with the ceremony. I am exhausted. The DJ played every song I asked him to. Your father. <laughs> I got video of it, don't worry. Don't you have tutoring today? 
No, I think I got fired. Why would they fire you? You got a perfect score in your SATs. There's no better tutor in this town. I was tutoring a ten-year-old. You can't take the SATs that young. Exactly. Kids aren't smart enough then. Right. Well, that's just silly. I know. You win some, you lose some. I'll just pick up some more shifts at St. Vincent's. I'll figure it out, Mom. We'll be okay. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Did you hear about Jacob? Who? Jacob. Jake. No, what about him? Jake, everything's gonna be fine. You got like a month of physical therapy and that's it. No big deal. Plus, you got the run of the house and we just renovated and everything. What the fuck are you talking about? We're gonna get out of your hair, kiddo. No big deal. Hey, where are you going? Well, it's our honeymoon, kiddo. Don't call me that. Your honeymoon? I can't be alone. <laughs> well, you can't come with us, Jake. That's not. Whoa, 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 wait. I don't want to go with you. I want you to stay. Jake, you're going to get in a good five or six car accidents in your life. I only get one honeymoon with this beautiful woman. Be reasonable. Now, look, we're going to push our flights back a couple of days, and when we do leave, you're going to get the best in house care money can buy. Okay? Come on. Go! Call those specialists yet? There are over 20 different types of ducks. You're leaving tomorrow. Yeah. No, I just gotta confirm up, you know, a few things. Oh. Hey Jake, there's someone named Sam here to see you. Sam? Yeah. He's like a squirrely little Jewish kid? I don't know, he could be Italian or something. Hmm. Hey, buddy. What's going on? How are you, Mr. Kittner? Fine, fine, fine. So what you got going on these days? Nothing much. Uh, heard Jake got into an accident. Yeah, yeah. Mm. On the way to my wedding. Silver son of a bitch. It's always gonna be about him, right? <laughs> <laughs> All finished? Yeah. Hey, Cassandra, do me a favor. Grab that desk lamp, plug it in over there. Sure thing, kiddo. <sighs> so, uh, anyway, you working? Uh, you know, you got anything, uh, making any money? Actually, uh, times are kind of tough right now. I, uh, just lost a client. Oh, yeah, what do you do for a living? I'm a tutor, uh, for the SATs. So, you know, just, uh... Is Jake here? Hmm? Jake? Yeah, yeah, no, totally. Oh, okay. Yeah, run up and, and, and see him. Cool. Right. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, catch me on your way back. Yeah. Would you like something to drink? Uh, maybe a glass of water. Who's there? Sam, man. I heard about the accident. Who? Sam. Sam Sanderson from back when we were kids. Who's talking? Sam Sanderson. Jeez, man. It's been a long time. Yeah. Yes. I hear you're doing really well. Well, I've been better, considering. You know, I was considering calling you. Just been a lot of shit between us. It's been a really long, long time. I can't say that enough. Long time from what? Ah, uh, I can't see you. My vision's going in and out. Are you okay? Should I get your dad? My dad? My dad's been dead for many years. They took him away a long time ago. Who did? Spaniards. What? Buddy, buddy, there's a miracle on 34th Street. 
gonna help you find it. Sam, Sam, it's me, Jakey. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't... I don't remember anything. They told me I got into an accident, but I don't remember you. Thank you. I, I'm sorry. I didn't get your name. It's Cassandra. Thanks, Cassandra. No problem. Cassandra was born in Tenafly, New Jersey. She graduated from Montclair State with a degree in fashion history. Her favorite color is turquoise, and she likes swimming for exercise. Hi, Cassandra. Hmm. Who are you? Fucking piece of shit. Who's a piece of shit? Who's talking? Who are you? Sam? Is Jake suffering from memory loss? Not that I know. Didn't think so. Hey, 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 hey! Where are you going? Home. But what happened? Your son's an asshole. I know, but what happened? I'm going home. Hey, 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 wait, wait, listen. Cassie and I, we just got married. We're going on our honeymoon. Congratulations. No, wait, wait. Do you know how fucking expensive in-home care is? Because I didn't. I mean, I was throwing the term around like it was nothing, and then I looked it up. Well, let him pay for it. He's got all the money. You know, he's not doing as well as he likes to sing about. It costs a lot of money to put a piece of metal in somebody's shoulder. Mm. Now listen, we are going to get onto that plane to St. Bart's. I mean, come on. I don't deserve this. So how about it? Look, he's going to be in the wheelchair for like another week, right? And then after that, it's going to be a lot easier. So do your oldest friend a big favor. Stay with Jake while we're gone. Absolutely not. I'll pay you $750. How long do I have to be here for? A month. Thousand. Deal. 500 now, 500 when we get back. Now, we're leaving in the morning. I mean, you gotta stay here. You understand that, right? I mean, I can't have you uh, going home at night just in case something happens. Are you sure you're okay with me staying here? I'm not a nurse. You work with kids? Not the same thing. <laughs> it's fine. Listen. I wouldn't do this unless I trusted that everything would be okay. I mean, it's not like I'm a shitty father, right? Dummy. Who are you? Drop it. I talked to your dad. Who? Eat shit, Jake. I'm gonna go downstairs, make a sandwich. You want something? Yes. All right. Is there a note or something down there? No. Why would there be? For the nurse. My dad said he was gonna get me a living nurse. Fuck you, Jake. What? If you call me that while I'm here, I'm gonna walk out. And you're gonna shit yourself and starve to death in that bed. What? Did I stutter? Don't call me that, Jake. It's turkey. Are you kidding? Your dad left food money, but that's the best I can do right now with what's in the fridge. Is this a joke? It's the best I can do, considering. They're on an airplane, Jake. You want anything to drink? Don't try to move, or I'll hobble you. Hey! I have to go to the bathroom! Watch the door, asshole. Ah, this door isn't wide enough. Why would my dad's second floor bathroom be wheelchair accessible? The default for any bathroom should be that it be wheelchair accessible. Right. Why don't you go ahead and pioneer that one, nurse? Second floor wheelchair accessible bathroom is a great idea. <sighs> All right. Whatever. Oh, Sam, come on. I'm messing with you. Come back. Sam. I shit my pants. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. 
Ok. Hey. Can't shit through my pants, buddy. Moving on back. I don't know yet. I haven't opened the door. Who is it? Hey, I got a delivery here for Jacob Kittner. Yeah, I, I can sign for it. He's not Jacob Kittner. I'm not. Are you a resident of this house? He is not a resident of this house. I'm not. Is there someone who can sign for this who is? It ain't him. He is Jacob Kittner. He can sign for it. I'm Jacob Kittner. Sign here. Did he also cast and set your injuries? Yeah. He's a doctor. You gotta help me. Nothing changes, Jake. Who the hell are you? Daniel. Daniel O'Connor. We took Trig together. See you later, asshole. I never took Trig. Hey, sorry, dude. I didn't recognize you. That's cool, man. The hat and shorts and shit really throw people off. Yeah, no doubt. What are you doing here? His dad paid me to take care of him. How much? A grand. That's not enough. That kid's an asshole. Yeah, he messes around. You don't get into an accident like that for no reason. He's bad energy. Yeah, where's the package? Just a second. By the way, he told me that you kidnapped him. I'm gonna come around back. All right. I don't remember that kid at all. Somebody loves this guy. Yeah, then why am I here? Stop talking and kiss already. Ugh. All right, Sam. See you around. I'll see you around. Help me downstairs. I don't think so. Well, it's either that or bring the shit up here. I could just as easily do neither. I'm gonna throw myself down the stairs and break my neck. Everyone will think you did it, and you'll go to prison. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? It's from your cousin, Marie. You used to have a thing for Marie, didn't you? I don't remember. Yeah, you totally had a thing for Marie. Oh, cool. West Wing. Never heard of it. It's a pretty good show. Yeah, I bet. You want it? Huh? I'll sell it to you. No. Wholesale at cost. You can't say at cost. It costs you nothing. Well, I'm not gonna give this to you for free. That's ridiculous. Going, going, gone. Who would send me this shit? This is from your office. I know who sent it to me. I don't understand who would send it to me in the figurative way. Well, looking at this stuff, whoever sent this to you doesn't know anything about you. Actually, Really, any of this stuff. All of it seems to be indicative of someone who doesn't know you at all. They probably don't know you because you don't know them. That's not true. This is from Kate, from your office. What's Kate's last name? You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Been here for a few hours now, not to mention last night. You'd rather jerk me around than ask me how I've been or what I've been up to. Are you kidding me? It's not like you've asked me. All right, fine, we're in the same position then. What have you been up to, Sam? Oh, shut up, Now Jake. tell me, I really, really, really want to know. Shut up, I'm taking you <laughs> upstairs. <laughs> Come on. No, 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 wait, 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 seriously. You know what the difference is between you asking me what I've been up to since I left Jersey and me asking you? No? There are any number of things that I could have been doing because I left my parents' house. I have something interesting to say because I have something to say. I know what the answer would be if I asked you, you know? You've been doing what you've been doing for the last 10 years. You gotta see what I'm talking about.
Is that the shirt Zoe Mayer threw up on? Yeah, of course. When was the last time you washed that? You wear that like every night? Wrap it around your face and sniff it before you go to sleep? Alright, show's over. I'm taking the shirt off. Are you Sam? Yeah, I am. Who are you? I'm Lily. I'm Jake's physical therapist. Physical therapist? Yeah, at some point he's gonna have to walk again. Oh, it's not that. I'm just surprised his dad sprang for it. Well, it was a choice of someone to bathe him or his ability to walk straight. I think they made the smart decision. I don't know. Uh, can you show me where Jake is? Yeah, he's in the other room. Ah! Who the hell is this? Lily. She's your physical therapist. My dad sprung for a physical therapist? Well, it was a choice between either having to bathe you Okay, or... thank you, Sam. Thank you. So, can you stand on your own yet? Maybe. I haven't tried. Okay, try. <sighs> can I at least get a cup of coffee or something first? Uh, nope. Try. Okay. A little help there. Mm -hmm. uh. ah. You live around here? Can you lift up your left arm, please? Your injured arm? Oh, my left arm. Yeah, that was the confusion. Yeah. You got a boyfriend? No, no patience either, and those two things go hand in hand. Whoa, this kitten's got claws. Okay, listen, you're gonna walk like a peg leg for the rest of your life if you don't let me help you. In order for me to help you, you need to not talk while I'm giving you directions, okay? Okay, so try lifting your arm again. This time, keep the tension in the shoulder. Good. See, the world's a lot quieter when you listen. Sam. You need me to walk you out? No, okay, here's the deal. I need you to get up every morning at 9 a.m. I need him up early, moving his arms and legs. If he doesn't do this, he could get major blood clots and he could die, okay? I need you to shower him once a day. I need you to change his dressings twice a day. And uh, keep him off heavy dairy and keep him eating protein, all right? Okay. Okay, I'll be back once a week. Do you need me to walk you out? She's awesome. She's tough as what she is. I don't need that in my life right now. Yeah, the last thing you need is someone pushing you into some sort of recovery. She's got a whole regimen I gotta do with you. Sounds awful. Yeah, for me more than you. Yo, why are you doing this anyway? My dad gonna give you his Buick or something? I'm your friend. You know who I saw taking out the garbage across the street last night? No. Zoe. You sure you weren't hallucinating? Positive. You sure? Because your room smells like the University of Vermont. Could have been a pot high. I wasn't. It was her. Well, we all know who reigned victorious in that case. Right? <laughs> who potted that plant? Okay, Jake. Who mined that field, baby? You win. You're the man. And whose shirt did she throw up on? Yeah, that was funny ten years ago. Thanks. Hey, Sam? What? I need you to look through the basement and get some of my old stuff. I can't keep wearing the same two shirts every day. I don't think you're gonna want any of this shit down here. Don't make that decision for me. Take a little longer. Are you masturbating? Did you hang yourself? You hung yourself while masturbating, didn't you? Oh, you are not gonna believe what I just found. Does your guy have glasses? I'll answer gender neutrally that my person does not wear glasses. Stop trying to cheat. It's not cheating. It's strategy. Does your person have brown hair? No. 
Does your girl have brown hair? My person does not have brown hair. You know, this used to be a lot more fun when I could cheat your ass out in two moves. I know. It must suck. Yeah. When's my dad coming back? Three weeks. You know, I, I asked Lily if I could be out of here before then. She said maybe. Hmm. Does your person have wrinkles on their face? Why? No. She wants me to get up and walk around first. Does your guy have brown eyes? Yeah. Oh, damn it. Why do you want to leave before your dad comes back? I barely wanted to be here for the wedding. I'm all set with seeing my father. Is your person Wendell McAdams? Yes. I win. Yeah, hey, Mom. Yeah, I'm fine. It's okay. I feel like I'm back in fucking high school again. Yeah, Mom, he's moving around a lot better than before. He was supposed to be out of the wheelchair this week. I, I guess he's just not ready. No, Mom, you can't afford to give me money, okay? The plan is to make the food money last, and then I'm gonna give you whatever's left over. Yeah, Mom, it, it's just a lot of bullshit. Like, he can't even make it through physical therapy without saying something disgusting to his therapist. You know how easily we could turn this into a sex swing? Nah, it's not that bad. It's a lot of sitting around. I mean, the guy's on Vicodin almost all the time. Whoa, 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 shit my pants, shit my pants, shit my pants. No, I can't leave him alone. He might break his neck or something. Mom, Mom, I gotta go. That was the doorbell. Jake might have woken up too. All right, bye. Shit. Do I have the wrong house? I don't know. Who are you looking for? Jake Hitner. Yeah, he's upstairs. Might still be sleeping, though. It's 10 a.m. Yeah, you'd think with all those broken bones, you'd get his ass up. Um, can you wake him up for me? I'm his girlfriend. Who's Sunken? He hasn't mentioned you once. What? Julie's here. Give us some privacy. No. I'm gonna sit in the corner and keep record of everything said. No, seriously, go outside and take a walk or something. Why? I can hear almost everything in this house. No, you can't. I can hear you cry yourself to sleep every night. You can go upstairs. He's awake. He's not coming down? Nope. Why don't you go upstairs and give him a hard time about it? Who's there? Jake, baby, it's me. Julie? Jesus, you're a mess. Hey, what's up? I'm Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy. You wanna hit? Uh, no. You, uh, you friends with Julie? Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just along for the ride. Boyfriend. Yeah, she's up there talking to Jake. Is that a cathode corner Nixie watch? Yes. You know about these? I know everything about those. Oh, my God. Sam, right? Yeah, Jeremy. Yeah. What took you so long to get here? <laughs> I've been a little busy. I almost died. And you didn't. That's the most important thing. And I shouldn't look bad because it's not like you weren't going to get better. <laughs> what? This just couldn't have come at a worse time. Who? For me. For us. When would have been a better time for this to happen for you? Jake's been here for almost a whole week, though. And she was supposed to come on, like, day two or something. She's been busy. I mean, I've been busy. I know, but she should really be there for him. Well, she's here now. I mean, she's a good friend. 
No, no doubt. I mean, I wouldn't drag you to Jersey. But I guess otherwise she's pretty cool. Jake's just always had garbage taste in women. No, taste is the wrong way to say it. It implies some sort of discerning view. He'll go for anything with a vague interest. I guess shitty women just flock to him. I don't know. Yeah, that's the right way to put it. Okay, I'm just gonna need you to be a little more understanding. I'm just gonna need you to meet me halfway here, Jake. I'm sorry. Really? I've been alone all week. There's nothing familiar around me. I just feel kicked around, you know? But this is my fault. What? You were on the phone with me and you crashed. It's your subconscious saying that we shouldn't be together. Julia, I want to be with you now more than ever. I have to go to the bathroom. Second door on your left. Oh, shit, get out of the car, get out of the car, get out of the car. Hey, baby. How you doing? Hi, Jeremy. Hi, Julie. Hey, do me a favor and check on Julie. She went to the bathroom. She left. She did? Yeah, with her new boyfriend. I didn't know it was her new guy, not until they left. I think I want to go outside. Go for a walk or something. For a walk? What goes around rolls around. That was something, Marky. What's up, Sam? Nothing much. You take out the garbage? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Marky. You're gonna die cleaning the booth. You know who's gonna be there to find the body? Who? No one. You're gonna die alone. <laughs> Real funny, Jake. Heed my warnings, Marky. Heed them. I'm gonna need a milkshake. Lily said stay away from heavy dairy. One milkshake's not gonna kill me. Jacob Shitner. Sarah Michaels. You know, I could punch you in the face right now and no one would say I was out of line. All right, uh, how's that? Hey, Sam, how are you? Been better, been worse. Uh, why could you punch him? Uh, let's see, I was gonna go to LA, take a vacation, see some friends, maybe see our friend Jake here. He said, come on by, stay with me. We'll have a different dinner every night of the week. Which is very nice of me to offer, by the way. Yes, and exceedingly nice of me to take him up on it. What happened? Well, I clear my schedule, tell all my friends my dates, and then I get to LAX, and his phone goes to voicemail all week. I apologized profusely. Yes, he did. He apologized up and down, and he finally invited me to a very nice lunch date two hours before I was going to leave LA. The apology still counts. In some cultures, maybe. Did you have a good time otherwise? Yes, of course. See, if I've learned one thing from being in close proximity to Jake in high school, it's to have a backup plan, because that is usually more reliable. Yeah, that's a good one. Well, I'll let you two peruse the menu. I'd like a milkshake. She's sharp. She got fat. What? She got fat. I don't know, maybe she just bloated or something. You're nuts. I'm just telling you how I see it. You know that thing about anorexic girls where they can't tell just how skinny they are? Yeah, let me guess, I have that problem with women. No, you're the asshole that causes that shit to happen. Okay, I'm definitely not the first person to think that way. Sarah's nice and smart, so please tell me, why did you treat her like crap? I didn't treat her like crap, okay? And besides, who comes up to a table like that and just, just tells a nasty story? Who does that? It seemed like she was pretty upset. What does she have to be upset about? She said she had a good time. Say you're sorry.
just saw Zoe. She was taking out the garbage. <laughs> yeah, right. I swear. You're wrong. I saw what I saw. Hey, Sling Blade, come here. Zoe Mayer work here? Yeah, she works in the kitchen. Are you serious? Totally, she's great. Most chicks, they don't like taking out garbage and cleaning dishes and shit. You know how many used tampons you find on old plates of food? Why does she work here? She lost her job and her dad died a whole bunch of shit. She moved home a few weeks ago. Tough shit, this economy. Wonderful platitude, Marky. Huh. Hey, you should go talk to her, dummy. Seriously, march in there. Rip her bloody apron off and burn her ass on the deep fryer. Why do you live in New Jersey? Why can't you raise your arm any higher? No, seriously, I think you'd make more money elsewhere. My partner lives here. Yeah, but you shouldn't be unhappy for someone else. I mean, I live in LA and I- Jake, you live in a dream world. Come on, arm higher. I can't. Try harder. I can't. I know you can try harder than this. Jake, I'm gonna break my own shoulder, let it set for two days, and show you that you can raise your arm higher than this. <laughs> That'd be silly. Come on. Good. Good. You want some water? Yeah. Okay. Good. You know, you're very lucky. How's that? Do you know how hard it is to get someone to help you move? You've got someone here with you for over a month, taking care of you. I mean, that's friendship. I guess. Tell me what it is then. I don't know. Well, despite your best efforts, that kid's your friend. Thank you very much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Beat the Clock. We have some What are we doing tonight? I don't know. I'm gonna go upstairs and maybe finish this book. Or maybe blow my brains out after you fall asleep. Why didn't you ever go in Jeopardy? Why would I go in Jeopardy? You ace the SATs. The SATs aren't like trivial pursuit. Did you take the SATs? Yeah, and I finished college, which puts me one up on you. You know, it doesn't just have to be Jeopardy, though. It could be any show, any question show. Who's smarter than a fifth grader? I bet you're at least that. We can make a lot of money, Sam. Seriously, I'll represent you. I'll be your agent. And you know what? If you act retarded in real life, it'll be even more surprising when you win. We'll make even more money, whole road show. You see what you're doing right now? What am I doing? You're trying, or at least I think you're trying, to help me out. But you just end up being an asshole and belittling me. I am not. That's exactly what you're doing, and you do it all the time. I don't know that that's true. I think you're happier with people in your life being bullet points. You know line items about me, but nothing more. And none of it applies to the last six or seven years of my life. Not true at all. Okay. Am I a virgin? Totally. I'm not. You carry yourself like one. Well, I'm not. So you had sex with a prostitute? I dated a girl for three years, Jake. So you dated a prostitute for three years? She wasn't a prostitute. Stripper? Nope. Sexually abused? Nope. Down on her luck? She was a normal girl. She was in our class. Bullshit. Lisa Martinez. Oh. Bullshit. Three years, you piece of shit. Yeah? What happened? She wasn't very nice to me. I don't know what to say to you right now. Why? She wasn't nice to you? She was manipulative and a liar and played games and was just really uncaring. That sucks. That's why you gotta hit her back, man. Establish some fucking power. We're just being in a relationship where those games don't happen. Doesn't exist. Gotta understand that, you know? Can't let one bad egg ruin the pantry. You gotta get your heart broken again. Get out there. What are you looking at, Jimmy Stewart? Nothing. I think I see Zoe walking her dog. Sam? 
Zoe. Oh my, oh my god. god. I I didn't know you lived in Jersey. Yeah, never left. Really? Yeah, I I mean I did for a second, about 20 minutes out of town. Wow. Yeah, I don't have a license, so it's tough. Um, are, are you taking care of Jake? Yeah. Why? His dad asked me to. Oh, it should take a lot more than his dad asking you to. <laughs> hey, Harold. What's shaking? You remember his name? Of course. <laughs> you want some company? Sure. Cool. Do you see anybody from high school? Eh, once in a while, around town. You? Um, the ones that live in the city, sure, but not that much. Yeah, high school wasn't the best time for me. <laughs> yeah, anybody could have told you that. <laughs> Jake's a pretty shitty guy. Especially to you. I guess. You know, I grew up across the street from him. You know what he did on my 10th birthday? No. He gave me a card. It said, Happy birthday. I hate you. Oh, that <laughs> sucks. I know, it sucks huge. I was 10, I didn't know what a sociopath he was. I thought he actually hated me. <laughs> I remember, just, that knocked me out. 10 years old. Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> I'm sorry he did that to you. Uh, it was a long time ago. It feels pretty small now. How'd it go? You finger blast your brains out? No, it was fine. We just caught up. I catch up with my cousins. You gonna see her again? I don't know. Did you ask her? I didn't. I live here, Jake. I got all the time in the world. <laughs> what? You know what? I like her just as much as I did when we were in high school. It was easy talking to her. And in a week and a half, you're gonna be on a plane back to LA and I can do whatever I want. Right? You're not gonna do anything. That's not true. It's a perfect time. She's vulnerable, she's hurt. Am I right? She's in a bad way, sure. So manipulate that shit. If it's because I've already plowed that pasture, I give you my permission. My loose, flaccid permission. <laughs> Thank you. Sam! Hey, Jake. What's up? I'm hungry. And I smell like shit. What are you doing? Zoe was walking Harold, I was up. up waiting for Zoe to walk Harold, yeah, I know. What the hell, Jake? She's gonna find out you're a creep at some point. For once. Please, try to keep things to a low boil. What the fuck does that even mean? I'll feed you in 20 minutes. Promise. Hello? Jake! Boyo! Hey, Dad. Boyo, how do you feel? Okay. I'm getting better, I think. Uh, can, uh, can I get a little refill on this one, please? Uh, great! How's the honeymoon? Ah, fantastic. Couldn't come at a better time. That's great. Listen, uh, is Sam around? He's in the shower. Oh, uh, uh, can you let him know? Listen, I fudged the dates. Yeah, we were gonna be back two days later than I told him. Sure. Uh, now, uh, if you could just offer him an extra... 50 bucks on top of the 500 I owe him for the extra days. No, 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 wait. Uh, no, 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 listen. Don't offer him anything unless he looks really upset. Then even if he is, let's let's start at 50, but don't go higher than 75. No, shit, don't go higher than Yeah. Okay, that's my boy. Now listen, you have a good time, don't have too much fun, and no part... You got any money? I want to get a paintball gun. Any money? No. You don't have any extra money laying around? Just the food money that your dad left? A paintball gun? Yeah. Yeah, I think it would be fun to just wheel around and shoot one off, you know? No, I, I mean, uh, if I had the money, yeah, sure. 
But I don't, so sorry. No paintball gun. Sam! Spilled my cereal! Are you serious? Unbelievable. Oh, come on! Raspberries! Cripple, not stupid. We're gonna need more paper towels, too. What's up? Jesus. I didn't realize you were hurt that bad. Yeah. The car flipped over, threw me a good 30 yards. Really? Yeah, it was pretty bad. The doctors didn't know if I'd... <sighs> Not important. Are you gonna walk again? I think so. I hope so. It'll, uh, it'll knock some sense into you. You would know. What? No, no, no. I didn't. I didn't mean to be cruel. I just meant with everything that happened with your dad and your job. It was bad. Worse even. Yeah. I'm really sorry, Zoe. Your dad was a great guy. It's okay. Let me go inside. <laughs> but it was great seeing you. You just you forget, you know. Sure. Zoe, can you do me a favor? Uh, sure. You know how Sam used to have a thing for you in high school? Um, yeah, I guess. Well, I've been using the accident as this opportunity to make things right with him. And I just know he'd think it was weird if he knew we talked. Um, okay. Uh, sorry, okay, yeah, I understand. Thanks. Anybody home? I'm back here in Suzuki. To catch Predator Zone. Wasn't your dad on that show? No. Hey, it's 10 o'clock. You know where your kids are? In bed with Sam's dad. Wait, what time is it? Hey, it's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your kids are? Gotta They're go. In... Sam, we need more toilet paper. And Drano. waiting for me? No. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> All right, come on, let's go. What are we doing? We're going for a walk, you're too pale. Okay. Where's your dad? He went on his honeymoon with his new wife. Oh, he's got his priorities in order. Well, I'm not used to my dad not being an asshole. Hey, Zoe? Yeah. When I apologized yesterday, I was apologizing for everything. What do you mean? I mean, I know it's a cop-out to make a blanket apology, but that's what this is. I'm sorry. It's cool. You prevented me from ever dating anybody like you in college, so I owe you a thank you. Well, I hope I'm not like that anymore. So tell me about your life in Manhattan. What do you want to know? Everything. Your job, your apartment, your friends. Just talk to me. Okay. Sam, you gotta do something about Zoe. I don't know. Stop being a little bitch and do something. What is your problem? Just stop being a bitch and letting people walk all over you. Good call.
So, are you uh, seeing anyone in Manhattan? Right now? Now, or, or uh, before, I guess. W whatever answer you have. Uh, not really. I don't know why I said not really. I meant no. What are you doing tomorrow night? Nothing. You're not working? No, why? Uh, I don't know. Seriously, why? I'm just curious, no reason. Wake up. I need more pills. Fill the prescription. Now. Okay. So did Sam talk to you about you? What? Nothing. You know what would be nice? What's that? Me cooking you dinner. <laughs> <laughs> what? I've liked seeing you, it's been great. And uh, it's nice to know that people can change. It sounds like naive, but you hope that it could happen. You think it might happen. As glad as I am you've turned over this new leaf, you're not cooking me dinner. Why not? Jake, you've burned that particular bridge to the ground, no matter how much you've changed. Zoe, I didn't mean it like that. I meant me, you, and Sam sitting down together, spending some time. Oh. Well, I'd like that. Can I ask you something? Sure. Do you think that the Sam... No. Trust me, I know Sam. He's the kind of guy, if he thinks something, he says something. What are you doing? I am having someone over for dinner. Yeah, right. I swear. Is there a punchline here? You gonna kick me in the balls or something? You know what? Took your advice from the diner. What's that? I said I'm sorry. Worked like a charm. You're having Sarah over? I can't believe it. What are you doing? Checking out your eye color. It's the first tip off that an alien life form is impersonating your body. Wow. It's a wonder other virgins don't make pilgrimages to worship you. <sighs> want me to go anywhere? Can uh, go for a walk or something? If you want. Sit upstairs? Yeah, if you want. It's gonna get loud. Fuck you. No, Sam, Sam, seriously? This girl made it seem like she's only interested in eating and fucking. That's disgusting. I'll close my door. It's open! Hey, Jake. Dad's house looks nice. Thanks. So, um, where's the food? What are we eating? You look great. Oh, really? I can hear you guys talking, and although it means nothing, it's making me feel kind of weird. So, I'm gonna go for a walk. What the hell? Hey, Sam. Sam, meet Zoe. <laughs> Fuck you, Jake. Unbelievable piece of shit. I don't know what's going on here. If you leave, he's not gonna pay you your money. What? He's not going to pay you your money. How do you know about that? What kind of friend takes money from someone's father to take care of them? I mean, what the hell else were you gonna do? And you wouldn't even buy me the paintball gun when I asked you for it. Yeah, that was a test, Sam.
You're out of your mind. My mom and I live alone, paycheck to paycheck. I gave her all that money to help her out. You get that at all? Stand up. I said stand up. I know you can stand up. Why? Because I'm going to punch you in the face. And I'm not going to hit a guy in a wheelchair. Shut up. You gonna do something? Do something. Shut up. Do something. I don't have to do anything. Your girlfriend didn't give a shit enough to not fuck someone else. Your dad didn't care enough to stay. You're all alone. Nobody cares. Someone had to pay me to care. <laughs> Zoe, this is bullshit. I honestly thought you wouldn't make the same mistake twice. Why did you do that? Because of the money. Jake, I'm 26 years old, and my father just died. I have no savings, and I'm living at home. And this, this is the least important part of my life. You know, you guys aren't 16 anymore. He's not going to be waiting at the bus stop tomorrow for you to make it up to him. Nobody wants you to be anything like your father. You know that, right? Your dad's not even here. Hey, I need help. I think I broke my shoulder. Why? What happened? I punched Sam. What'd you do? I punched him. I know. What did you do? I may have sabotaged this thing he had going with this girl he liked. I don't know. Well, he sprained it. It's not broken? No, but it's going to be sore for a week, so you need to figure the situation out. You mean get my friend back? No, I don't care about your relationship. That's on you. You need someone to take care of you. So call the girl. You call the girl, fix it with her, and Sam will come back. I don't know her number. She lives across the street. What, Jake? I didn't mean anything I said. I was being a manipulative asshole. I know. I know you know. I just need to tell you. He's liked you for a long time. A lot. Um, just being an idiot. I, I saw you walking with him and, and, and my dad telling me about 
Sam getting paid, it just... It's me acting on some shitty instinct. Did you mean anything you said? When? When you said you were sorry. <sighs> I don't know. I am sorry, though. Your dad was a really cool guy. What am I supposed to do now? Wait for Sam to get back, make some phone calls, and find someone else to take care of you. I don't know that anyone else can. Well, you gotta figure this out, Jake. Okay. You should call someone else. Why? Because Sam's definitely coming back. Why do you say that? Because he's sleeping in your dad's car right now. If he was gonna go, he would have gone already, don't you think? Well, I need someone to take care of me. Yeah, but listen, anyone you treat the way you treat that kid, maybe it's not the best thing. I don't understand. Listen, you're not the most perceptive guy in the world, do you understand that? I guess. You guess? You've hit on me countless times, and I've countered countless times by referring to my partner. Not my boyfriend, my partner. Can you put two and two together? Look, maybe you need to reevaluate your relationship with this kid, but I gotta go. I have an appointment in 20 minutes, so I'll see you next week, okay? Huh. I don't want to beat you up again. Just want to keep my head down, finish out my time here. Beat me up? I punched you. Whatever. I just want to go upstairs and sleep in a normal bed. No. What? I want you to leave. What the hell are you talking about? I think, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, that as long as I'm here, you're gonna take care of me. Even if my father doesn't pay you. The thing is, you don't like me. Not right now, no. No, you don't like me at all. And that's okay. I'm an asshole. But for some reason, me being an asshole has just caused you to stop. And that's not okay. I don't think... Seriously. We're not friends. We're just used to each other. So I need you to just leave. I need you to go write an SAT prep book or, or, or date Zoe or do anything as long as I'm just not involved and far away. Just do something so that I don't feel like I fucked this up so bad. We were best friends, man. Probably the best when we were 10. And then we never changed. That sucks. But we don't have to be friends now. Okay. 
But who's gonna take care of you? I called Sarah, she said she'd do it for 500. Don't worry about it. See you later. Okay. By the time I'm 16, she's gonna be like 28 or something. She slapped me pretty hard. Ew. You gotta make an omelet to break some eggs. What? That's not what you meant to say. How would you know? That made no sense. In the future, keep those kind of things to yourself. I got a lot more candy than you. Yeah, I know. Let's even it out. Thanks. You know, get used to it. It's not gonna last forever. Uh, um, yeah, I think you meant don't get I used mean, to it. I mean, shut up. She said it all.
Camera speeds. Marker. All quiet. Set. And action. Why did my daughter just call me delusional? I don't know. Did you, uh... Say something crazy? No. I walked in here from the den, and she said I was delusional. Now, Sam, she doesn't know that word unless you taught it to her. Linda, it's probably an SAT word. I don't know what delusional means, but it's okay, Mom. Mr. Sanderson says I'm not smart enough for any of this anyway, for Christ's sakes. That's... Listen, I didn't say those words exactly. I said something very similar to it, not gonna lie. But the important thing is that I didn't say those words exactly. What exactly did you say? I said she's not smart enough for this stuff right now. What? She's not. Linda, this stuff is tough. You got her doing it at 10 years old. Hey, you. Sun is to shining like your mom is to what? Delusional. See? I'm just trying to give her a head start. A healthy head start is six months. The whole point of the SATs is that a 10-year-old shouldn't be able to do it. Who are you to determine whether my daughter is ready or not for SAT prep? I think I'm exactly the right person to determine that. I'm the SAT tutor. Am I being unreasonable? Well, Sam, I don't think you're the right person for this job. Are you firing me? Yes, I am. Are you going to pay me for today? Fine. Please, please go outside and play with your friends. Do not order my daughter around. Streets are the greatest classroom. She can't unhear that. <laughs>